Flourish is an intergenerational reciprocal mentoring scheme that has been run by Independent Dance as a research into mentoring and pilot since 2020. This video shows reflections taken from some evaluation conversations that Independent Dance had with a couple of mentoring pairings. We hope it can introduce people to the idea of reciprocal intergenerational mentoring and reveal some of the learning and development that the project has unraveled so far. Fumi Adewoli and Bisola Bello mentored each other in 2020 and Joe Fong and Nicol Vias worked together in 2021. I, I, I didn't realise how much I needed something like this until, until it, it, it happened. So uh, honoured to have been part of this. But he said something about, yeah, I am helping you and I'm, yeah, we, we're working together. I'm actually also getting something out of it. Um, yeah, I was getting a lot out of it because I was um, getting a lot out of your energy, your um, your determination. You know, this this happening here with this person or with this inspired moment, you know, helps me to get to this bit and helps me to believe, oh, that's possible. So how did this mentoring project support you? Being able to work with Fumi allowed me to really learn from her experience and her, um, her work, what she's done and how she's influenced the present generation. And I was able to, um, to find the words that I was looking for. That idea of it being an ongoing kind of, um, an ongoing thinking process that won't, will be entirely incomplete <laughs> and it will have loads of open, un unended like all oh, propositions and stuff that um some of it's some of it's dreams and <laughs> I guess there's the collision between how the world works and what we do and they don't necessarily move at the same tempo and um, so a lot of mine were probably about slowing down probably about slowing down probably about uh, looking at it from a different angle or, or just hearing it from someone else is really reassuring. Um, to have uh, a set of eyes which was like really outside of that perspective um, and just to like um, help me or like even just rem remind me of some of, of like diff different ways of thinking about working with people was, uh, was super valuable. And how did the fact that this was intergenerational and reciprocal make it different to other mentoring schemes? Intergenerational, it, you know, as Bisola said, it conjures up this idea of talking across generations or between, isn't that inter, between generations. So there's the age difference. And automatically, I think the assumption is, is that the older person is therefore passing down information or passing across information, whether down or across, <laughs> to somebody from a younger generation. And I suppose, therefore, the assumption is the older person knows more. And whilst this is sometimes true, it's not always true. So in terms of being a um, teaching, teaching my dance practice, um, when I encountered Busola, that's what she was doing. In many respects, I felt she was ahead of me there. Um, in terms of putting it out there, you see? So in my career, I would say I'm advanced some places, I'm early in some places, and sometimes my expertise in one area is supporting, uh, supporting the lack of expertise in another area. Because I think there's something about mentoring that like, uh, uh, I, I have assumed sometimes is like a, um, uh, a thing of, one figure who is a holder of, of like more information and um, uh, like who knows more than the other person and uh, holds more authority than the other person imparting that authority and wisdom with this other person. Um, and um, and it, mentoring being a way of solving problems or like stuff like that. And it's the same way that when, you know, you sort of eventually redefine your relationship with like therapy, for instance, where, where it's, 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 
it's not the same as what you initially think it's going to be. Um, and so I think I felt like I could be um, reciprocal and I could um, exchange with Joe very easily. But I think after I had to sort of like realize for myself that like exchange is not uh, always just about like, oh, what problems are you going through? How can I like fix this, 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 this? It's more just like, oh yeah, I recognize that. Or um, I don't recognize that, or I see that in a different way to you. Um, uh, I didn't feel like there was a kind of like power kind of thing that like affected the way in which we um, were working in a kind of like inhibitive sort of way. Like, I think it, it was, um, I, I felt really like comfortable and like um, able to uh, express myself um, and know that it would be sort of like met with like um, useful provocations rather than like, oh, you're younger than me. You don't know what you're talking about. So, so I think this really, it's, it's, it's different to other mentoring scheme because we we're both working together it's not just one one person mentoring one the other it's it's kind of like both mentoring each other in a way and yeah it's 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 just done in a diff it's just done in such a um organic way i guess i think there was a, a an a awareness in it about this is, you know, we constantly had an awareness that this is for both of us. And even if it wasn't about a specific interest from one or the other person, that was kind of mutually useful. And, and you noted, oh yes, often I'm the youngest person in the room. And I was like, oh, I'll try and remember what that was like. Oh, yeah. And the thing that you were dealing with was probably the same thing that I was dealing with as being the oldest <laughs> person in the room, you know, so, yeah. you know, yeah. I think it, for me, therefore, I had to self-reflect in a way I, ha I I don't usually, because usually it's listening to, you know, the mentee and trying to feed back to them uh, and make suggestions. But because it's reciprocal, I also put myself now in the position of receiving and saying, uh, what, what did you think about my video? What did you think about... Uh, uh, the dance that the improvised dance I just whatsapped over to you <laughs> it's a very different position as I say to, to put myself in and also you know um, as you go older in the field and people begin to see you more as an expert and sometimes that's a very tricky place to be because you still have learning needs you know and you find that when you go into situations people are not uh, you know people expect you to give or they're very careful about what they say around you but it to have to be in conversation with you was to it was a way for me to rejuvenate myself to expand my vision as well there's a point where you can feel you're becoming irrelevant you know or you're only becoming irrelevant to official <laughs> people in official jobs and you're losing touch with the people that are really pushing really pushing the form and the practice you know um i had to learn by listening so while it seemed like i was coming to meetings and supplying all this information and saying oh look at that book and this book and that website oh let's try this or making all these suggestions i found that there was a lot to gain but i had to listen so i think i was learning a lot from the listening end the kinds of questions you were asking was making me understand what's relevant today. It wouldn't have been a, as good an experience if you weren't pushing. So what would you say were the shared interests and common grounds that you discovered? We both knew that we were both interested in somatics because that's, it, um, Henny made that clear to us that Obisola is interested in, you're interested in this, and we started discussing. We saw lots of overlaps, um, and but we also saw lots of differences, like Bisola was more interested in the Yoruba um, culture, the Yoruba spirituality. I was looking more at um, the an anatomy 
I was looking more at anatomy and and but both of us interested in dynamics, you know, vibration, rotation. So we're looking at that. Um, we explored teachers that we both had had. Um, Basola had been looking at Sylvester technique. You know, she had, um, and I I was looking at my physical theatre sort of background. I'm not really an expert in the somatic. But I want, but I knew the 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 sensation of qualities and the the idea of somatic, and I was trying to unpick that in within the Yoruba spiritual um, essence in in the movement in my movement vocabulary, and um, so with our research and our unpicking and structuring of our, of our time together, we were able to really. Um, uh, to to, ident to identify closer to each of our own aims and objectives. Being um, in relationships with with like organisations of power, or traditionally they uh, have not um, invited people like me and Nikhil to be involved in a particular way so navigating that has been for me personally it's been really uh a bit of a roller coaster um so having um a kind of um yeah how are you doing it <laughs> you know i think there's a, there was quite a lot on um leadership and 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 it's only occurred to me now really actually because we are both leaders in our fields we look after people as part of our work and and actually do you know I am done a leadership course so um and I don't want to do it like that anyway <laughs> you know so in a way it was having a um an um a colleague friend creative friend critical friend who can um even in in our age difference kind of um anchor some of it there's this urge to do it better and to not do it like certain things so we're against the tide of what what is valued in the world there's an urge to to be the the antidote to how the world sees creativity or efficiency or you know all of those things so and people care came up quite a lot i think there's a weight to what's happening <laughs> for for artists, I guess. Um, and I think it's something to do with, you know, there's the work part, but it's deeply personal, isn't it? It's so kind of, you know, confidence. That's got nothing to do with what you put on the blurb, is it? It's like, it's like in our bodies or... So could you say something about how this mentoring relationship gets processed along the way and also as something that can keep nurturing you into the future? I think, uh, I mean, look, looking back on my notes, I, I sort of, um, uh, I'm looking at that. They, they, they feel, if anything, sort of like a, um, uh, like a score maybe, like so something to do with um, uh, less, that they are um, fully like worked out kind of like expressions of thought and more just like invitations to approach mm. thinking about things in a certain ways. So like, uh, mm. you know, from, from one of our sessions, I've got like um, the work I'm doing is holding space um, or um, like listening to the first urge. And there's like no other context around those, just those like sort of, um and and i think there's something about that which i um i i will find more useful in the future than like a 15 page essay about like the uh different dynamics between theater and dance or whatever like how we structured it um for that those session was that we had a aim and objective so we had like a um, what do we want? What do we want to achieve for that for that week of that day, and then outcome? So there wasn't a necessary an outcome in those days, but there was an outcome 
I guess towards the end, I would say there was an outcome. Um, and the outcome was that I was able to understand exactly what the idea of somatic is within the Yoruba dance. Um, but then I was just, yes, yeah, so I was just, I, I, I was able to identify with that. Mm. So yeah, so we did we did quite a lot. I think we we looked yeah. at how we perform, we looked at how we teach, mm. we looked at how we describe at what we do, we looked at our genealogy of teaching, cultural who who have we taught with, to, um, who have we trained with, mm. who have we um, danced with, mm. who have we you know mm. that, and we also read articles. I think we shared a number of articles yeah. on dramatic practice and African dancing. Yeah. Um, yeah. And the feedback was very useful as to where to go next. We're working on these relationships, not simply for our own gain. We are working on these relationships for, um, for um, the arts, for communities that are different, but that we're part of the future being laid down.